but again, instinctively, just, I had a great time discovering so much music and then being able to just start reading through it. And I started developing my sight reading by just having so much time to sit through and read through out of curiosity. I remember auditioning for a piano teacher and I played all the pieces that I knew from my prior teacher. But then I said, oh, I would like to play something that I've been learning on my own. And she says, that's when she really saw uh, my natural talent. So I was always reading things that I wasn't studying. Uh, just like somebody who begins to learn to read is kind of reading 10 books at once and just curious to know what's available and dabbling here and there. But by doing that, developing their reading skills. So it's the same with the piano. I was developing my reading skills and, and I was reading very difficult pieces with pieces like I couldn't even reach the octaves at the time. But I was fascinated because it was something I didn't know and, and then listening to the recordings. And the more you listen to recordings and you're following the music, you're training your eye. And so just the whole process was sheer interest in the, in the enormity of it all. But at the same time, it develops you and, and you, you grow. Mm -hmm.